Have you ever felt like you didn't even know where to start for a project? Feeling lost, confused, and out of ideas? Don't worry, we've been there too. Hey Saki! Hey Laura! What if we made an app that generates project plan ideas for us so we didn't have to do it ourselves? We're always using ChatGPT to come up with ideas. Why don't we make an app that uses AI to do that for us? And that's when AI Project Planner was born! On the front end team, we have Fernando Robles, Laura Guerra, and Saki Chetha Tanasiri. Our back end team was made up of Garrett Greger, Amy Marie Spears, Javen Wilson, and Michael Callahan. When you first visit, you can choose to log in as a demo user or use Google Authentication to log in with your Gmail. So here we have our homepage with a short summary of the app's purpose, along with the option to view a tutorial or generate a new project plan. I'm gonna go with a full stack application type. When I click add technology, languages from the back end and front end are shown and I can select which ones I want. So I'm gonna go with React, TypeScript, and Ruby. And here I can set a time frame of how long I want to work on the projects, and I can set how many collaborators. I'll go with four. Once that's done generating, we arrive at our results page that shows the project title, summary, and interactive timeline where you can view steps on how to approach your project. We have a list of features and interactions, color palette, a logo generator and some helpful videos based on the languages you selected. I have the option to create another plan based on the last form. I can edit most of the details listed in the plan and I can favorite the plan and view it in the favorite projects with any other ones. I can also view the entire history of projects created so far and you're also able to delete these. This app is designed to streamline the project planning process for junior developers like Turing students. By leveraging advanced AI technology, this app assists users in creating comprehensive project plans and generating innovative ideas tailored to their chosen project type and preferred technologies. We implemented a service-oriented architecture with our users interacting with our front-end deployment on Vercel, powered by TypeScript and React.js, and continuous integration using CircleCI. The requests were sent to the backend, which is deployed on Heroku, powered by Django and Python, continuous integration using CircleCI, uh, PostgreSQL database and communicating with the OpenAI API to generate responses for the front end. Django is a framework we chose on the back end of our application for a couple of different reasons. One was scalability. We knew that this application was something that was going to be utilized far and wide and so we knew that being able to build this out to accommodate a lot of different users and a lot of different features was going to be really important. The second was Django is what's known as a batteries included framework. And so being able to utilize a framework like that, that had a lot of things built in, like the Django REST framework that helps for building out the API that the front end team could use was really, really helpful in order to speed up development. And speaking of speedy development, that was another thing that the Django framework offered. Uh, with a short development timeline, being able to utilize some of the features that were built into Django, like an admin dashboard, helped to speed up development and cut down on our timeline significantly. Some specific processes and practices implemented, project management with GitHub projects and an in-depth Notion page for planning and organizing. The backend team did individual research and mob coding. Python was a new language for all of us. So we conducted several days of individual research and jointly wrote code. This allowed us to leverage the collective knowledge and skills of a team while maintaining a relaxed Git workflow. Regular communication between full stack teams helped us to continuously modify our code to ensure a seamless integration. One challenge that applications face is large amounts of user traffic and data. In our case, we also have an AI API that users call. One way we would need to change our architecture in order to accommodate is to introduce caching. The areas we can use caching is the saved projects and all projects. Doing so would enhance the user experience and they would experience less wait time on top of the already extended time it takes to generate a project. If we are thinking even further ahead, we could look into something like load balancing. Speaking of future plans, our plans for future extensions include creating design files for the applications and allowing users to collaborate on projects by sharing them with one another. We're looking forward to what the future of what Project Planner AI can be. Now you'll never have to feel at a loss for your next project. Just use AI Project Planner instead. Thank you so much for watching.